A trans-Neptunian object TNO, also written trans-Neptunian object, is any minor planet in the solar system that orbits the Sun at a greater average distance than Neptune, which has a semi-major axis of 30.1 astronomical units o. Typically, TNOs are further divided into the classical and resonant objects of the Kuiper belt, the scattered disk and detached objects with the sednoids being the most distant ones. As of October 2018, the catalogue of minor planets contains 528 numbered and more than 2,000 unnumbered TNOs. The first trans-Neptunian object to be discovered was Pluto in 1930. It took until 1992 to discover a second trans-Neptunian object orbiting the Sun directly, 15,760 Albion. The most massive TNO known is Eris, followed by Pluto, 2007 Oregon 10, Makemake and Haumea. More than 80 satellites have been discovered in orbit of trans-Neptunian objects. TNOs vary in color and are either gray-blue BB or very red RR. They are thought to be composed of mixtures of rock, amorphous carbon and volatile ices such as water and methane, coated with tholines and other organic compounds. Twelve minor planets with a semi-major axis greater than 150 astronomical units and perihelion greater than 30 astronomical units are known, which are called extreme trans-Neptunian objects ETNOs. Topic. History Topic. Discovery of Pluto The orbit of each of the planets is slightly affected by the gravitational influences of the other planets. Discrepancies in the early 1900s between the observed and expected orbits of Uranus and Neptune suggested that there were one or more additional planets beyond Neptune. The search for these led to the discovery of Pluto in February 1930, which was too small to explain the discrepancies. Revised estimates of Neptune's mass from the Voyager 2 flyby in 1989 showed that the problem was spurious. Pluto was easiest to find because it has the highest apparent magnitude of all known trans-Neptunian objects. It also has a lower inclination to the ecliptic than most other large TNOs. Topic. Subsequent discoveries. After Pluto's discovery, American astronomer Clyde Tombaugh continued searching for some years for similar objects, but found none. For a long time, no one searched for other TNOs as it was generally believed that Pluto, which up to August 2006 was classified a planet, was the only major object beyond Neptune. Only after the 1992 discovery of a second TNO, 15760 Albion, did systematic searches for further such objects begin. A broad strip of the sky around the ecliptic was photographed and digitally evaluated for slowly moving objects. Hundreds of TNOs were found, with diameters in the range of 50 to 2,500 kilometers. Eris, the most massive TNO, was discovered in 2005, revisiting a long-running dispute within the scientific community over the classification of large TNOs, and whether objects like Pluto can be considered planets. Pluto and Eris were eventually classified as dwarf planets by the International Astronomical Union. On Monday, December 17, 2018 the discovery of 2018 VG18, nicknamed Far Out, was announced. Far Out is the most distant solar system object so far observed and is about 120 astronomical units away from the Sun, likely taking more than 1,000 years to complete one orbit. Topic. Classification According to their distance from the Sun and their orbital parameters, TNOs are classified in two large groups, the Kuiper Belt Objects KBOs, and the Scattered Disk Objects SDOs. The diagram to the right illustrates the distribution of known trans-Neptunian objects up to 70 astronomical units in relation to the orbits of the planets and the centaurs for reference. Different classes are represented in different colors. Resonant objects including Neptune Trojans are plotted in red, classical Kuiper belt objects in blue. 
The scattered disk extends to the right, far beyond the diagram, with known objects at mean distances beyond 500 astronomical units (Sedna) and aphelia beyond 1,000 astronomical units (87269-200067). Topic KBOs. The Kuiper Belt contains objects with an average distance to the Sun of 30 to about 55 astronomical units, usually having close to circular orbits with a small inclination from the ecliptic. Kuiper Belt objects are further classified into the resonant trans-Neptunian object that are locked in an orbital resonance with Neptune, and the classical Kuiper Belt objects, also called Cubuenos that have no such resonance, moving on almost circular orbits, unperturbed by Neptune. There are a large number of resonant subgroups, the largest being the Twitinos 1 to 2 resonance and the Plutinos 2 to 3 resonance, named after their most prominent member, Pluto. Members of the classical Kuiper belt include 15,760 Albion, 50,000 Quaor and Makemake. Topic. SDOs The scattered disk contains objects farther from the Sun, with very eccentric and inclined orbits. These orbits are non-resonant and non-planetary orbit crossing. A typical example is the most massive known TNO, Eris. Based on the Tisserand parameter relative to Neptune TN, the objects in the scattered disk can be further divided into the typical Scattered disk objects SDOs, scattered near with a TN of less than 3, and into the detached objects ESDOs, scattered extended with a TN greater than 3. In addition, detached objects have a time-averaged eccentricity greater than 0.2 The sednoids are a further extreme sub-grouping of the detached objects with perihelia so distant that it is confirmed that their orbits cannot be explained by perturbations from the giant planets, nor by interaction with the galactic tides. Topic. Physical characteristics Given the apparent magnitude greater than 20 of all but the biggest trans-Neptunian objects, the physical studies are limited to the following Thermal emissions for the largest objects see size determination. Color indices, i.e. comparisons of the apparent magnitudes using different filters Analysis of spectra, visual and infrared studying colors and spectra provides insight into the object's origin and a potential correlation with other classes of objects, namely centaurs and some satellites of giant planets Triton, Phoebe, suspected to originate in the Kuiper belt. However, the interpretations are typically ambiguous as the spectra can fit more than one model of the surface composition and depend on the unknown particle size. More significantly, the optical surfaces of small bodies are subject to modification by intense radiation, solar wind and micrometeorites. Consequently, the thin optical surface layer could be quite different from the regolith underneath, and not representative of the bulk composition of the body. Small TNOs are thought to be low-density mixtures of rock and ice with some organic carbon-containing surface material such as tholin, detected in their spectra. On the other hand, the high density of Haumea, 2.6 to 3.3 grams per cc, suggests a very high non-ice content compare with Pluto's density, 1.86 grams per cc. The composition of some small TNOs could be similar to that of comets. Indeed, some centaurs undergo seasonal changes when they approach the sun, making the boundary blurred. See 2060 Chiron and 7968 Elst Pizarro. However, population comparisons between centaurs and TNOs are still controversial. Topic color indices Color indices are simple measures of the differences in the apparent magnitude of an object seen through blue B, visible V, i.e. green-yellow, and red R filters. The diagram illustrates known color indices for all but the biggest objects in slightly enhanced color. For reference, two moons, Triton and Phoebe, the Centaur Pholus and the planet Mars are plotted yellow labels, size not to scale. 
Correlations between the colors and the orbital characteristics have been studied, to confirm theories of different origin of the different dynamic classes. Classical Kuiper belt object Cubueno, seem to be composed of two different color populations. The so-called cold inclination scattered disk objects show color resemblances with hot classical objects pointing to a common origin. While the relatively dimmer bodies, as well as the population as the whole, are reddish V I equals 0.3 to 0.6, the bigger objects are often more neutral in color infrared index V I equals topic spectral type equals among TNOs, as among centaurs, there is a wide range of colors from blue-gray neutral to very red, but unlike the centaurs, clearly regrouped into two classes, the distribution appears to be uniform. The wide range of spectra differ in reflectivity in visible red and near-infrared. Neutral objects present a flat spectrum, reflecting as much red and infrared as visible spectrum. Very red objects present a steep slope, reflecting much more in red and infrared. A recent attempt at classification common with centaurs uses the total of four classes from BB blue average B minus V topic 0.70 V minus R 0.39 eg Orcus to RR very red B minus V Topic one point zero eight V minus R zero point seven one EG Sedna with BR and IR as intermediate classes. BR and IR differ mostly in the infrared bands I, J and H. Typical models of the surface include water ice, amorphous carbon, silicates and organic macromolecules, named tholines, created by intense radiation. Four major tholines are used to fit the reddening slope. Titan tholin, believed to be produced from a mixture of 90% N2 nitrogen and 10% CH4 methane. Triton tholin, as above but with very low 0.1% methane content. Ethane ice tholin I, believed to be produced from a mixture of 86% H2O and 14% C2H6 ethane. Methanol ice tholin 2 80% H2O 16% CH3OH methanol and 3% CO2 as an illustration of the two extreme classes BB and RR the following compositions have been suggested for Sedna RR very red 24% triton tholin 7% carbon 10% N2 26% methanol and 33% methane for Orcus BB gray blue 85% amorphous carbon plus 4% titan tholin and 11% H2O ice topic size determination and distribution characteristically big bright objects are typically on inclined orbits whereas the invariable plane regroups mostly small and dim objects it is difficult to estimate the diameter of tnos for very large objects with very well known orbital elements like pluto diameters can be precisely measured by occultation of stars for other large tnos diameters can be estimated by thermal measurements the intensity of light illuminating the object is known from its distance to the sun, and one assumes that most of its surface is in thermal equilibrium usually not a bad assumption for an airless body. For a known albedo, it is possible to estimate the surface temperature, and correspondingly the intensity of heat radiation. Further, if the size of the object is known, it is possible to predict both the amount of visible light and emitted heat radiation reaching Earth, a simplifying factor is that the Sun emits almost all of its energy in visible light and at nearby frequencies, while at the cold temperatures of TNOs, the heat radiation is emitted at completely different wavelengths the far infrared. Thus there are two unknowns albedo and size, which can be determined by two independent measurements of the amount of reflected light and emitted infrared heat radiation. Unfortunately, TNOs are so far from the Sun that they are very cold, hence producing black body radiation around 60 micrometers in wavelength. 
This wavelength of light is impossible to observe on the Earth's surface, but only from space using, e.g. the Spitzer Space Telescope. For ground-based observations, astronomers observe the tail of the black body radiation in the far infrared. This far infrared radiation is so dim that the thermal method is only applicable to the largest KBOs. For the majority of small objects, the diameter is estimated by assuming an albedo. However, the albedos found range from 0.50 down to 0.05, resulting in a size range of 1,200 to 3,700 km for an object of magnitude of 1.0. <laughs> Notable objects Exploration The only mission to date that primarily targeted a trans-Neptunian object was NASA's New Horizons, which was launched in January 2006 and flew by the Pluto system in July 2015 and 2014 MU69 commonly referred to as Ultima Thule in January 2019. Other missions have recently been proposed, including orbital capture and multi-target scenarios, the existence of planets beyond Neptune, ranging from less than an Earth mass sub -Earth up to a brown dwarf has been often postulated for different theoretical reasons to explain several observed or speculated features of the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud. It was recently proposed to use ranging data from the New Horizons spacecraft to constrain the position of such a hypothesized body. Topic. Extreme trans-Neptunian objects Among the extreme trans-Neptunian objects are two high perihelion objects, Sedna and 2012 VP113. Sedna and 2012 VP113 are distant detached objects with perihelia greater than 70 astronomical units. Their high perihelia keep them at a sufficient distance to avoid significant gravitational perturbations from Neptune. Previous explanations for the high perihelion of Sedna include a close encounter with an unknown planet on a distant orbit and a distant encounter with a random star or a member of the Sun's birth cluster that passed near the solar system. Topic. See also. Dwarf planet Mesoplanet Nemesis hypothetical star Planet 9 Sednoid Small solar system body Triton Taish hypothetical planet equals equals notes